Ben 10 is a show about a boy with a watch called the Omnitrix, and with it, he could turn into 10 different aliens. As the show went on, he also unlocked more and more aliens. But apparently, doing that is not enough to keep the show interesting. So, Ben's aliens have gone through a ton of gimmicks. Today, we are going to be talking about all the Omnitrix gimmicks. But first, let's give a definition to Omnitrix gimmicks. An Omnitrix gimmick is when both the powers and appearance of Omnitrix aliens change. We are going to be using this definition so it will be easier to say what is and what is not an Omnitrix gimmick. Now let's get started. So the very first Omnitrix gimmick is the side effects aliens. So there is an episode in the original show called Side Effects. In this episode, when Ben gets sick, his aliens get sick as well, affecting them in different ways. For example, Wild Mutt use it in his nose to see because he doesn't have eyes but because ben has a cold his nose is clogged up so wild mutt is blind whenever ben's sick and then for heat blast since ben has a cold now heat blast his powers have gone from heat to cold so now he's got ice powers. Pretty cool. And it just shows how creative the original Ben 10 really is, if you ask me. This very first one. In Ben 10 Alien Force, there is another episode where Ben got sick. But in that show, they just made a bunch of sneezing jokes. In the original show, it actually did affect like the way Ben uses his aliens and all of that. He had to go about his approach like completely differently. The second Omnitrix gimmick is fusion aliens. A fusion alien is the combination of DNA between two of Ben's aliens. For example, in the original show, when Dr. Animo stole the faceplate off of the Omnitrix, the Omnitrix randomized like two different DNA samples from in it to create a new transformation for Ben to use because without the faceplate, the Omnitrix's DNA catalog was incomplete. The Omnitrix had to combine two different DNA samples to create one whole. That's my theory anyway. <laughs> That's my head cannon. When the first time when Ben used it, he turned into stink arms, a combination between four arms and a stink fly. And then in Ben 10 Omniverse, they introduced the Bi Omnitrix, which is what Ben 10,000 uses in the future where it's basically just two Omnitrixes that he activates at the same time in order to turn into a fusion alien. So like the first one he turns into is four Mungasaur, fusion between four arms and Humungasaur. And then most recently they brought that gimmick back again in the Ben 10 reboot where like Ben's Omnitrix was glitching up in one episode. So it turned him, in, so the first time he used it, he turned into gray arms, which is a combination of gray matter and forearms. Man, these episodes really like forearms. Maybe that'll be a trend going forward as well. The third Omnitrix gimmick from the original show are the Fountain of Youth aliens. When Ben drank water from the Fountain of Youth, both he and his aliens got younger. And this also, once again, affected their powers too. Like when he turned into a four-year-old Heat Blast, um, he then threw Temper Tranchum that caused him to go supernova. And it affects all the other aliens as well, and their powers, and yeah. Benton Alien Force didn't really have any gimmicks until the very end. Unless if you count the episode where Ben's arm got cut off. But at the very end of the show, they introduced the ultimate aliens, which is just, which was just a big advertisement for the next show, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. So yeah, this is probably the most popular gimmick out of all of them because it's spun off its own t t TV series dedicated to it. And yeah, the ultimate aliens. 
Ultimate forms are the evolved forms of some of the aliens found inside the Ultimatrixes. All Ultimates have enhanced powers and abilities. Like, for example, whenever Humongousaur becomes Ultimate Humongousaur, he can turn his hands into rocket launchers and can shoot out missiles at his enemies. And I also want to note that this is the only Omnitrix gimmick that did not feature forearms and heat blast. Like, <laughs> seriously, why wasn't there ultimate heat blast and ultimate forearms so that way they can be involved with every Omnitrix gimmick? <laughs> I don't know. So explaining this next one is going to require a little bit of backstory. So in the one hour special crossover with Generator X Heroes Unite, there was this one character introduced during it that is made out of nanites. Nanites are like the big thing in Generator X. Basically, um, every living creature on the Generator X Earth is fused with nanites. Nanites are basically like living machines inside of everybody that cause horrible mutations sometimes. And sometimes people are just okay. But yeah, there is this one character introduced in that episode named Alpha. Who is like a bunch of living nanites that are a character. And at one point during that episode, he absorbed the power of the Ultimatrix. And so he gained the power to turn into Ben's aliens. But as Evos, which are like the horrible mutations that are caused by nanites. And yeah. So the next one from Ben 10 Omniverse is Skirt Powers. So there is this character in the that was introduced during the last season of Ben 10 Omniverse, Skurd, who was a character that attached itself to the Omnitrix. When attached to the Nemetrix or Omnitrix, Skurd could grow replicas of the body parts of an alien and use it as armor or new power for himself and the wielder by spreading to their respective body parts and then shifting into another alien's limb or something based on another alien. <laughs> And finally, from the Ben 10 reboot, we got the Omni Enhanced Aliens. After unlocking the alien Shock Rock, when Ben transforms into an alien, he will be consumed by blue energy and rocks, which will form the enhancements. These enhancements will either give the alien new powers or boost its pre-existing ones. The feature activates randomly when Ben transforms into an alien. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all the Omnitrix gimmicks, I guess. Maybe. Not really. But, yeah. It's all the gimmicks that apply to my definition that I gave. So, yeah. Maybe I'll do some videos in the future going further into detail about what all these things do to the transformations and stuff. And yeah, I will definitely be continuing to make more Ben 10 videos regardless of anything. So yeah, bye guys. Also subscribe please.